Well, welcome back, my friends, all to another rousing rendition of Choir Boys Outdoors, a Mr. Snuggles rendition, the Warhammer by RMJ Tactical. Now, listen, listen, listen. I'm going to read these specs, and then we're going to move through it. The overall length is 18 inches. The head length is 8 and 5 eighths inches. The hammer face is 2 inches by 1 and 1 eighth inch wide. Now that's the three plates bolted together and we're going to talk about that. The head height is 2.5 inches. The blade thickness is 3 eighths. The weight 3 pounds 10 ounces. It is made out of 80 CRV2 carbon steel. Uh, the handles come in three different colors. I, I want to say these are the dirty olive. Now the fasteners are grade 5 titanium bronze anodized. It is a tungsten coating, tungsten coated Cerakote. Now I want to read something really, really quick and then we're going to move into it, okay? I'm going to read what they say and how they describe it. Affectionately named Snuggles, this is the modern Warhammer breaching tool and closely follows our mantra. One tool, many tasks. Snuggles combines badass looks with formidable capability in one package. Designed with close quarter battles in mind, with a length of 18 inches, it can be used in tight areas where traditional longer tools uh, may be less effective. It is a tool ideally suited for a patrol car, car or an emergency vehicle, providing a quick action tool for breaching a door or window the large 8 and 5 8 inch head features a meat tenderizer style end with tapered beard and the tail end features a 3 and 13 16 distal taper spike for puncturing which you're seeing us use there. This part's important. Snuggles head is assembled with two cheeks bolted on with three hardened 4140 chromoly bolts with a tensile strength of 120,000 pounds per square inch in each. The pieces are mounted in a double shear and the bolts would be acted on together. A 50 ton press would be required to shear it. Repeated impact doesn't change the situation. Snuggles is extremely overbuilt, is an extremely overbuilt handheld tool. Here's my problem. I busted two bolts on it, smashing it into concrete. Now, I want to talk all about it. First thing I want to say is this was sent to me by JR to have some fun with. And man, it is a blast. I love it. The other thing I want to bear in mind here, guys, is this. This is a tool made for the military or first responders. It has a $700 price tag. So before anybody says anything, this is a tool that is purpose-driven and it is built for a certain clientele. My son is an officer. I take this shit serious. I, you know, maybe it's been a little dramatic, but if it's a tool that can help my son, I'm going to go a little harder on it, and I'm going to be a little harder on it. Now, I want y'all to bear in mind, that's how I'm approaching this review. Not, not as scab, not as good old, but as a father whose son may one day use this tool. And I beat the absolute dog shit out of it on purpose. The concrete you're going to see smashed are 130-pound treads. I think they're two or three inches thick. They're uh, reinforced with rebar. Now, having said that, let me say this. If you follow this channel at all whatsoever, you know there's a couple things we don't do. We don't bash anyone. It's not in our DNA. I can be a smart ass here and there, but we're not going after anybody. I want to use this review. What I would really love is to have uh, Mr. Johnson, Ryan Johnson, on Blade Talk with Scab and Joe and kind of pick his mind on this design. I've reviewed five or six RMJ products, all high-end, all high-quality, all first-rate. Now, some people say, oh, I wouldn't buy it. Well, again, this isn't, I don't think, for the individual user. Some people have them. Some people don't. Now, guys, I want you all to pay attention to this. And I want you to notice that I've lost 20 to 30 pounds since I filmed this section. No shit. It's been about a month. I've dropped a good 20. Now, what we're doing here. Um, I look like Chris Farley right there, so thank God I'm losing weight. But here's the deal. You notice right here, guys, I'm not swinging for the downs. I'm not baseball swinging it. We're hitting it with precision, and we're going after it. But we did go hard. In total, in total, 
I think I broke three of these in this video and I broke three more um, as, a, as per shorts. So six of these totals. And guys, y'all know me, I walk around hitting everything. Right here, at some point, the bolt, I lost a bolt. You're gonna see it, I believe it, yep, top corner. See that right there, it's gone. Here's what I want to stress to you. Couple things, one is the hammer did not fail. The hammer didn't fail, the bolt broke, yes. Absolutely the bolt broke, but the hammer stayed together. That's the first thing. I reached out to RMJ and they sent me another one. That speaks volumes to me and I'll tell you why, okay? And this is why we're not gonna rip and bash and do all that crap. Because I didn't spend one single dime with RMJ. JR bought this and really he was intrigued by it and wanted to see it go to work. Now, again, guys, this is, this is about a year's worth of powder coat on my rail and you'll watch. Now, the clip to the right is important because this is where I actually lost the bolt. Doing a little dance there, that a boy scab, looking good, son. As only old scabber can do. Somebody said the other day, you say that like you didn't expect to be here. When I say, well, there's old scab, they said, you know, you talked like you didn't expect to be here. Guys, I didn't. That's why when y'all hear passion and excitement in my voice, it ain't about a free knife or a free tool or any kind of bullshit. It's that old scab's still alive. Shouldn't have made 50. Really shouldn't. By my own stupidity, I should not have. But I'm here and I'm thankful for it and I'm blessed. And back to the thing. And again, right here, we're just taking nice, easy swings. In the clip to the right is where the, the bolt actually broke. The clip where I said I lost the bolt, I think, is where it fell out. The thing is, the hammer held up. RMJ responded. Now, my question is this. There's a nice shot of Kirk's ass. Didn't mean to get that. That's the money shot right there, boys. Here's the deal. Here's what impressed me. They didn't have to respond to me. I didn't spend money with them. So no, I'm not going to sit here and bash me and say, scab, does it cause doubt in your mind? Here, it, it makes me ask a couple questions. Was it a bad bolt? Was it a one-off? Am I just that damn strong? Well, we know that ain't it. Not at 52 years old, overweight, and, and about half dead out there. That ain't it. And it might be. I don't know. What happened? Now, I've heard people say, well, why isn't it a single piece? Here's my thought on that. And again, I would love to have Ryan on Blade Talk. And dude, not in any way other than we've had some great guests. We've had Emerson and Medford and Tops and all these guys. And I think Ryan would fit in with us, but I'd love to pick his brain. The question of scab, wouldn't it be better one single piece? Guys, the width of those three together is like one inch and an eighth, right? So this is 80 CRV2. Dude, can you imagine you'd have to have a what, inch and a half slab to cut that out of? The cost, even though it's, it's high as shit now, would probably be through the roof. The other theory that I have is this. They may have made those cheeks to bolt on in case you wanted to take them off. And JR, I know I've had this thing a long time, brother, but I'm going to have to ask if you would mind if I'd keep it one more weekend. I'd like to remove those, those bolt-on cheeks. Kirk and I were talking about it today and just going at this thing wide open. I, I would appreciate it. I, and it would give it more of a tomahawk feel. Now, right here, again, we're just slamming down on it, man. This is an old water heater we found out back in the property when we are cleaning it up at Kirk's. So we're just taking, I never knew these sons of bitches were this tough. I ain't gonna lie. Guys, listen, RMJ, they support law enforcement, they support military. That's why I am a huge supporter and they make quality products. Again, in my mind, is this a design failure? Is it a bolt failure? The company responded, so it's not a company failure. Uh, I, I've got some questions I'd like to have asked, but at the end of the day, again, again, they responded. Now, I started this saying I was treating it like a father. I am, man. If my kid ever has to use this, I want to know that sat some bitch right there ain't gonna fail him. I want to know if he's going through a door, he's got the tools in his hand and the skill set to use them. So, son, start training. That's dad's advice to you. Now, guys, listen, speaking of all that, there was a time in this country where 22 bets a day 
took their own lives. Now, stats are everywhere. It's Easter. The number's going to be higher today. It just is, and I hate that. The real numbers are anywhere from 15 to 29. That's why on this channel, it doesn't matter if it's 15, 22, 29, 27. It's all too damn high. Anything over zero is simply unacceptable. Vets, we love you. You're not alone. You have a place here. You're welcome here. I back the blue. I just told you my kid's a cop, but I back the blue before then. And before anybody says back the blue before it happens to you, son, it's happened to me far more than it will ever happen to you. I have my reasons, and I'm not here to argue about it. I love y'all, whether you support it or you don't. Finally, finally, if you are an addict, never quit quitting. Well, there's still a lot of questions out there. Do I love it? You're damn right. It's a badass piece. We need some questions answered. I'm going to try to get them for y'all. Until then, I'm scabbed. You're not. And uh, I'm gone, son. Love y'all. Happy Easter. Hey, listen, seriously, I love each and every one of you. Thank you for all the love you show this channel. God bless y'all. Have a great week. I'm out. Love y'all.